Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with another video. So in our last video we talked about how Corona has affected India personally with the family and you know the traveling and stuff like that. So this mm. time we are going to talk about how it affects us and our mm. home and Britain as well. Yes. Yeah. So what do you think what's happening now? <laughs> All right, so when we're talking about um, England, when we're in India, a lot of people, just to start off with, we'll talk about this, a lot of people when we're in India, we say to them, oh, well, they say, where are you from? And we say, oh, we're from Britain or England. And a lot of people then turn around and go, oh, you're from London. And we have to go, no, London's the capital city of the UK, like New Delhi's the capital city of India. Uh, London is our capital city. And we live about two or three hours away, which is... Of course, in India, not hugely far, but in England, that is the other side of the country uh, because, of course, it's much smaller and we do travel a lot faster on our roads. For example, you guys seem to travel sort of 30 to 50 on average. We travel sort of 70 to 100 on our motorways and such. So um, the best way of looking at it is if you looked at a picture of the map of England and Britain or the United Kingdom we've got loads of names and if you want to be really boring you can look into what those are and why <laughs> but basically what you've got is you've got the main mass of the land is England you've got the very top which is Scotland which is technically another country but it is part of Britain Great Britain and the United Kingdom you've then got the middle to the left you'll see like an outcrop which is Wales uh, again same as Scotland and you then got an island which is called Ireland, and you've got the north of Ireland, which is Northern Ireland, two separate countries there. The bottom half, which is the majority of it, is owned by the European Union, and the north half, uh, well, the north top, is owned uh, by Britain. It's called Northern Ireland. Um, so with England, where you see London on the map, which is the southeast of the country, huge block, huge city, um, you then go very far to the west, and you see the very southwest, underneath Wales, you'll see the little outcrop, uh, which is uh, the southwest of England, which is everybody in the UK knows is the most beautiful part of the UK, and that's where we're from. We're yeah. from a little part of it called Somerset, which is a lovely little place. Yes, and so now you know where we're from. Mm -hmm. We're from Somerset. Yeah. Um, that's that's where we live as well. Mm -hmm. Um. So personally, how Corona affect our life? Uh, God, work, yes. yes, work is off at the moment. Yeah. Chris being a lorry driver, yes, it is essential work, but Chris worked with the agency, so yeah. everything is shut, as you guys know, so everything is because um, now it's slowly everything opening, yeah. restaurants and everything, but still it, there is no work available for yeah. him. And as you know, in England, uh, people who's not working, they are furloughed. So yeah. in the UK, we've got a scheme called the furloughment scheme, which our Prime Minister Boris Johnson brought in, which short answer is he's essentially paying people to stay at home and to avoid them going out to work. Because, of course, if we're not earning money, we have bills, etc., you know, all that kind of stuff. So they pay, he's paying everybody to stay at home. Not everybody, but he's paying most people. Now, the lorry driving is seen as a key skill, and most lorry drivers stayed at work throughout this. However, the firm I work for, they do deliveries to restaurants that have been shut down because of the virus, because they don't need it. So I'm at home because there's nothing else for me to do. Yeah. So I'm paid to sit on my bum at home, which is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and on the other side, it's me and people who work what I do. Yeah. I used to work in council. But now I go back to my hospital. Yeah. I I love looking after people, but don't ask me, am I a nurse? No, I'm not a nurse. <laughs> but I'm a healthcare assistant. Maybe in the future I'll think about it. I think mm. nurses, being a nurse or a doctor is too much responsibility. Mm. You know, it's you are responsible for someone's life. Even the job I do, we do have responsible a lot of responsible. Mm. But with being a nurse, there is a lot. Um, yeah. So that's our job lorry mm -hmm. driver and I'm a healthcare assistant yeah. and restriction that's a lot of restriction I haven't seen my mom and dad for nearly three months February wasn't it last February time? was the last time yeah. we saw our mom and dad yeah oh my mom and dad yeah um, because they live way too far away from us <laughs> <laughs> they still live in the UK they live in uh, somewhere between 
um, the well somewhere between where we live and Wales, like just on the east coast of Wales, basically. Yeah, so it's but like just our, into England. Yeah, it's hour and a half to get yeah. there on the motorway, so obviously nothing yeah. is working. We're not allowed to travel that far, basically, with the restrictions. If you go on to the, they have lifted it lately, but where it was a bit more extreme before, you weren't allowed to travel on the motorways, and you had to have letters and reasons to do anything, basically. Lockdown has eased quite significantly, but I mean, in the beginning, when the lockdown was on, it was to the point where you couldn't leave your house without having a letter. Uh, the only exclusions that you were allowed to leave the house for were for shopping, medical needs, and, and if you're a key worker, and of course, if you're a key worker, if you're a key worker, you got a letter from the government to state that you are allowed to go to work and you're allowed to be out and about to do what you got to do. So there was a lot of restrictions at that time. They have eased and they are slowly letting go of them. But we'll see what happens. You know, it's the future, we don't know. Yeah, but hopefully this will be over soon. Yeah, okay. But seeing the family is the hardest thing because we, what we hmm. used to do, we go to see mum and dad every other weekend and spend yeah. every other weekend with Chris's mum and dad. So mm. we have like a nice roast dinner. Mm. I do miss Chris's mum roast dinner. She makes yeah. a lovely. Love She's it. a good cook and I love her chicken. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> so yeah, I miss that a lot because of Corona. We can't physically go in there and have a yeah. nice meal with the family. We've been doing our part, staying home, only yeah. go for shopping when we need it. Yeah. And then the medical stuff and to work, of course. Yeah. So I hope yeah. everyone. Hopefully, everything will sort it out soon. Yeah. With everybody's effort, it will be a lot quicker to sort it out. In our next video, what we plan to do is because a lot of people keep asking us questions about things like our love story, how we met, all that sort of stuff. We've done that in three languages now. We've done it English, yes. Malayalam, and Tamil. Um, but what we're going to do in our next video is talk more about us, who we are, what we do, our hobbies, our interests, and just generally talk about us and of course if you have any questions leave a comment because then we'll, we'll answer it if enough people ask questions you'll answer it <laughs> yeah if you just want to ask any question yeah. you're welcome drop yeah. a comment below and we will answer yeah. you on the next video yes so to watch our next video you can subscribe to our channel and click the bell button so every time we post you get a notification yeah. and if you like our video please give a thumbs up See you Bye. guys next time. Bye.